Last time in Night City, Takimura, the former bodyguard of Saburo Arasaka, called V to meet him at a local diner. He made a strong case on why they should work together and what were some possible leads for them to investigate. He wanted to out the son of Saburo, Yorinobu, as the real killer, and he also had plans to help find a solution to the biochip issue that would eventually kill V if not solved. After talking to Johnny about Rogue, the owner of the afterlife, he decided to go see Judy to see if she knew where Evelyn was at. That's when he learned that Evelyn used to be a doll, and she worked at a dollhouse called The Cloud. Dollhouses are places where people can go live out their fantasies. A sex worker will link up into their brain to find out their innermost desires. When V went back to the garage near his apartment to get his car, Delamain's taxi drove right into him and drove off afterwards, prompting him to go to the Delamain HQ to find out what was going on. He found out that some of the vehicles are no longer under Delamain's control, potentially thanks to a virus. At the cloud, V met with a doll named Sky, and they shared a very intimate moment together, where he was encouraged to set out to achieve his dreams and desires. He also investigated the room that Evelyn used to work out of, and he saw that she had been hacked remotely. Further inside the cloud, he met with the owner and through some discussion, convinced him to leak a little bit more information. He sold her off to a ripper dog called Fingers. Now let's continue our story. I'm gonna go talk to Wakako. She owes me some money. What is it, Takamura? B, can you talk? It is important. What's important? I may have found a solution to the problem we share. I have established a contact with an old friend from Arasaka. He's here in Night City now. He's well connected to certain influential people. Old friend, well connected to the influential. Why so mysterious? Get to the point. I told you once I would explore options, knock on many doors. There will be a meeting. You, me, and this friend of mine. You will tell him what you told me. The truth of events at Kompiki Brother. I have little hope that he will be convinced, but it will be a start. Of all people, you ought to know Night City tests everyone's reliability, even that of old friends. You sure about this guy? Trust him? Many times we have had the opportunity to kill one another. Yes, I trust him. Fine, where's the meat and when? Japan Town, after sunset. I am sending you precise location I'll see you there and now we're here well well who do I spy but V in my humble parlor no less Ukako, long time no see so what brings you here willing to bet nobody knows Westbrook like you do my husband's new Westbrook yes each of them very high in the tiger claws. Ruled Japan down. What did they do? They did what made the best eddies. Gave them the most pull, sold sex and black market tech. I'm looking for someone. Ripper Doc, called Fingers. Oh, I do not recommend him. Slippery type, questionable methods, tech straight from the trash. But he is cheap. Need to talk to him. He has a clinic on Jig Jig Street. Works mainly with the local joy toys. I can't help asking. How many of those husbands did you have? Five. All went before the time. Terrible family tragedy. You're not afraid that tragedy will strike you? Have to live somehow. For my nine sons. We have some outstanding biz to sell. Remember Sandra Dorset? I don't forget such things, V. There's my money. Here is your reward. It comes with a fairly ample bonus. Go see a Ripper Doc. They'll weave you a dermal imprint that will enable smart gun compatibility. A Tiger Claw specialty. Oh, I like that. Well, goodbye, Wakako. Thank you for the help. Okay, now we need to call Judy. One more phone call to make. Right over here. Ring, ring. Pick up. B. You called. <laughs> Promise I called, didn't I? Promising's one thing. Keeping it's a whole other bag. So, managed to learn anything? Evelyn's not at clouds anymore. Behavioral chip was damaged. 
Apparently they carted Here, her off. Here, Kitty, 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 what's the rush? Fingers. Oh, shit. Know where to find this Fingers character? Let's get out of here. Yeah, runs a dinky chop shop off Jig Jig Street. Fuck me. Guys, all kinds of bad news. Heading there now, to find her. I told her to stay the fuck away from clouds. Oh, all right, later, V. So this more up your alley than clouds? Hey, at least here you know what you're getting. Oh man, what a shithole. We're we gonna have to fight? Hey, not one step closer. Here to see who. Well, I took a lot of steps. Got an issue, need sorting out. You're here to do that. So how about you fuck off, let me through, and no one will be the wiser. So serious from the get-go? I was only joking, sheesh. Fine. Let him through, sludge. You do look like a sludge, huh? Wow. Imagine getting any type of medical help here. Hey, hands off! I think I'm scared of your skinny ass. You will be when every in town descends on this shithole. Wait. You got a financial Judy. claim? Judy. Take it to court, you Fuck pussy. Off and leave me be. What are you hey, doing here? Hey. Fine, I get it. Yeah, hey. Everyone's got their breaking point. Just pay me what you owe me, and you can fuck off. Hello! There's a line! Nuh-uh, you ain't cutting. Sit Fingers your guy. ass down and wait no. your turn. Heard some things, yeah. Like? His hand sometimes slips. Glad to see a familiar face. I'm worried sick about her, V. Had no idea anything had happened. We'll find her. I know we will. Hey, look in the mirror. After the heist, Evelyn hold up with the mocks for a while, right? That's right. So why the hell she go back to clouds? <laughs> Thought she'd be safer there. God knows why. Tried to get her to see straight, but she wouldn't listen. You talked to Fingers yet? If only. He's harder to get in to see than the best docs in town. We're gonna be here forever. I just know it. Maybe you could talk to those girls, see if we can cut in front? Why me? I don't think they like me. Just give it a shot. That or come up with something better. She means a lot to you, doesn't she? And you've arrived at that conclusion how exactly? Moment you knew where she was, you sprang into action. Once you get close to Evelyn, you never want to let her go. You worked at Clouds. Not as a doll. Tuned their virtues. That's where I met Ev, Tom, and the rest of the crew. Think Evelyn's being kept here somewhere. On the one hand, hope she is, because I want her back fast. But on the other, hope to God, no. Because who knows what that sick fuck could have done to her. And no kidding. Okay, let's have a chat then. Fingers a friend to the working guys and girls around here? Helped me. I'd be in a wheelchair if it wasn't for him. He chipped you some chrome with real skin that had peeled off. What he replaced it with looks like a bathroom floor from a senior home. Better than being a cripple. I mean, that is fair. I could wait, but I'm not going to. And I'm not going to threaten them. I could charm my way through, but instead I'll be kind. Here's some money. Here. I saw to cover you for some real crow from a real ripper. If you're flush enough to afford a real ripper, then what are you doing here? Hell do you care? He here cause he feel like it. Now thank the man unless you and me Delta. Can't see nothing for the blood. Yeah, take it easy. Let's go. Okay, let me in now. Open wide. Whoa. We going in? Yeah, sure. Let's go, Judy. Yes. Hello. What can I do for you? Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. I know she was here in your clinic. Ah, so that's what this is about. Where is she? Ah, a loaded question if I've ever heard one. You, Tiger Claws? As far as I know, I'm all paid up. We're with the Mox. The Mox? Why didn't you say so? So, what brings you here? Heard you help the working girls around here. Well, 
Very few children will play with broken toys. So when skin goes flabby, sockets go out of whack, implants malfunction, I'm sure you get the gist. You pay for goods, you expect top quality. Consumerism 101. Please, scrapyards offer better quality than this. Already told you. I'm looking for a woman named Evelyn Parker. Need to know where she is. Step into my office, please. Many girls come through here. So many. But let me put it to you this way. I believe in giving each of them the personal touch. Ask anyone. I'm more than a chop doc. See, I know what people truly want. To be flattered, praised, patted. To feel like... like they deserve it. Of course, I can't remember each and every one. Please... Went jittery as soon as I mentioned her name. Don't try getting out of this. I know you remember her. I, I have a neurological condition. It's not easy living with ticks. Really, I'd love to help, but if only I knew who you were talking about. Oh, we're going to do things the fun way. Suggest you start remembering all you can. Either that, or I'll make sure you never forget my face. Two beefers from a BD studio took her. Didn't even know their names. They mentioned a moth, of all things. Virtues with the death's head. Said she'd be good for the moth. Need air. I'll be outside. Yeah, no problem. Well, my job is done. What a fucking scumbag. Wonder if he's dead. Maybe he's only unconscious. I have no idea. I'll take that. I'm not gonna read it right now, but let's go talk to Judy now. We're all done here. I just had to clean up, you know? Yeah, my version of V here isn't a fan of these types of underbelly types. We're back out. Oh, she's moved away. Gotcha. How far? Let her go back to clouds. Could have stopped her, but I didn't. Don't worry. We'll find her. I know it. We'll fucking find what's left of her butchered corpse. Hey, keep it together. You want to give up now? No. Only lead we got's an XBD. Where's that get us? We also know we're looking for something related to the death's head. It's better than nothing. I don't get your optimism. Still sounds like a big fat nothing to me. Death's head symbol bring anything to mind? Anything. Doesn't matter how small. This industry... I mean, market's looking for every kind of fetish out there. It's cavernous. But an XBD outfit would be on the move almost always. It makes them harder to nab, harder to sting. We need to figure out where they're scrolling this stuff. Gotta be a rat hole of some sort. Doubt they do much shooting hey, on location. Hey, hey! You hear me? Yeah, gotta be somewhere quiet Loud and clear, quiet, don't need to yell. What's up? It could be Do we'll see something to point us in their direction Shoot. in one of their Price virtues. You know, uh, over here with the have to be real gonks to lose Yeah, that it makes sense. All right. Well, you in? No, man. Get out of here. I didn't think big parties were your thing. Yeah, well, it ain't a big. We get one, it but, together. You know, run a low on heads. Gotta bring in the clients, attract them and shit. Could try selling iron straight from the factory. Skip the whole part where you tinker for hours on each little shooter. V, my dignity, please. Sorry, Wilson. Don't shoot for fun. I can respect What's that. up with you? Well, see ya. See you around. My mistake, I got a phone call. Everyone, everything, leaves something behind. Just need to know where to look. Lucky for me, I'm running around with the best BD specialist in town. Has an extra pair of expert eyes. Well... Your BD expert has a better idea. Pleasures of Night City, a domain with its twin on the dark net. Every kind of thing goes on there. Might stumble on something useful. Yeah, maybe. That was easy. Can we just leave here? <laughs> Let me think for a sec. 
No fixer in Westbrook. I'll drop her a line. V. Fixers don't hand out information right and left. Done a couple of things for her. Not that she owes me. But let's see what she has to say. Meantime, see if I can't find something on the NCP domain. Yeah, sounds like a van. good idea. In the van. You've got a van here? Okay. I'm not gonna call Wakako when we're right here. She's my favorite Obasan. Let's go say hello face to face. There we go. Hello. You wanted to talk? Yeah. Looking for a brain dance. Oh, any particular one? Logo on the Casey. A death's head moth. Whoa, now. That's quicksand. So I would advise caution. Know who makes them? Where they scroll them? And do you know what a fixer does? Allow me to explain. Not only do I finalize transactions, I can accomplish the goddamn impossible. Which would be... Making sure the buyer, supplier, and ever-neglected intermediary not only keep their heads in the games, but keep their heads, period. So don't you ever ask me who, with whom, where, when, why, or how. <laughs> what a badass. Okay. <laughs> Point taken. Can you get me one of those recordings? No. But I have a pretty good idea who can. Who'd that be? There's a store on Jig Jig Street. It has a Pandora's box worth of crap in sight. Try asking the owner. Thanks, Waco. And I'm home again. How's it going? Looking for, uh, something special. A brain dance to really... You mean smut? Nah, more hardcore. Won't find it here. But there's a guy on Jig Jig Street has a whole lot of peculiar flicks, and I mean peculiar. Okay, now I know. You gotta hoof it again. God, Let's just run for it right now. Hard, oh, it's gonna be right by the clinic, I believe. Whoa, man! What happened alone. over here? You know what? It's a good time to show you what I bought. Thank you, Vic. He's always hooking me up. Well, here's what I'm gonna do. To cut this guy a little bit. Check out that damage. And he's dead. I don't really need what you have. But I'll take it. Sure. I'll take all of it. There's our guy right over here. He's talking to a customer. Looking for something raw. Untouched. Raw's all you get with me. What's your edge? Want something that'll floor me. Really scramble the neurons. We've got it all, man. Bare knuckle boxing, shootouts, black ops, interrogations, amputations. No, 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 no. I mean, something like, well, you know. Fetishes. No, come on. You know what I mean? No, I don't. Think I'd be doing this job if I could read minds? I want to know what it's like to, to kill somebody. See, wasn't so hard. So, got some classics from the last Corp War, or armed robbery if you're looking for something fresher. Let's chat, you and me. How's it going, pal? What are you looking for? What have you got? Virtues. Any special kind? Well, let me put it to you this way. Those who know, don't need to ask. Looking for BDs. A particular kind. Particular? You a badge? If I was a badge, you'd already be in cuffs while you sold the customer before me. All right, all right. Can't be too careful. What do you want? Give me the best of the best. The ones with the death's head. <sighs> Didn't know I was dealing with a connoisseur. Death's head will cost you, though. How about a discount for your newest customer? Only give regulars discounts. If you're short, then fuck off. Where do you get these scrolls? Said you weren't a pig. Just curious, that's all. Once you booted up your virtue, dare say your curiosity will be satisfied. People that make these, <laughs> obsessed with privacy. 
Never even occurred to me to ask where they're from. To which caution I probably owe the fact that I'm still alive, talking to you. Got anything that might interest me? Yeah, let's find out over here. No arms, no problems. That's really fucked up. Here's what I need. Deep fried death's head mop. Got it. Let's get out. Pleasure doing biz with you. Yeah, sure, pal. Let's go talk to Judy now. Now it's time to do some brain dancing. Because it is flashing lights, I'll definitely cut us over to something a little bit more pleasant to look at. Anyway, let's get inside. Hop in. Yeah, sure, I can do that much. Hey, V. Hey, Judy. Let me get everything prepped. You make sure the wreath's snug on you. You'll watch while I edit in real time. The old one, too. Yeah, sounds good. I'm ready. Ready when you are. I want you to describe what you see. You might catch something, I guess. Oh, I'm going to. Don't you worry about that. Oh, shit. It's a fucking snuff film. These always get to me quite a bit. All right, let's pause real quick, and we need to have a look around, don't we? Editing mode's good to go. Yeah. Around all you want. Scab woman. Who knew that sides chopping people up, they were scrolling XBDs? Ordered recently. So we're gonna find out a lot here, and thankfully I know how to do it now. It's a pretty interesting concept. Scav, gotta be. No one else with that kind of fashion sense. And no kidding, what about you? Do I need to scan again? Poor fucker. Oh, he's a net runner. Damn. Okay, we're back in playback mode. That makes it a lot more dramatic to watch over. Yeah, we'll switch back once we need to, like right now. All right, let's have a look around again. Electric corp patch in the coveralls. And we're back. Imagine having the lack of humanity to do what they're doing here. I don't even know where your headspace has got to be at to just drown it all out. All right, we're back out again. So, right over here. Can't beat that rich synth got aroma. Cheap shit, cold too. Mm -hmm. Buck a slice. Here's another one. Let's scan it. Ordinary box, Decker, Tanaka, and Rogers logo. Standard for a trash heap. Okay, we're looking for an electric core power plant located near a buck a slice. So? Means someone's grabbing bucket slice regularly, which is not something someone does for the flavor and the fresh ingredients. Pizza shares its DNA with styrofoam. Nobody's gonna slap across town for it. All right, let's go back real quick. I think we're nearly done here. What are they doing to him right now, though? Oh, holy shit! That's really jarring. I'm gonna tell you that right now. All right, you know what? I'm gonna pop out of that real quick, just to have a look around. Yeah, I guess we're done. Here we go. Old electric core power plant in Charter Hill. Gotta make do with this for now. Nothing else to garner from this scroll. No time to lose. We gotta go there. Definitely. Ride with me. We'll meet on site. Need to get a few things together first. Okay. Just not too long. All right. Not at all. It might oh, take me a shit. bit. Oh, wait, what? What's going on? Johnny. Gotta be around here. Or maybe not. Yeah, we'll move a little bit, I suppose, but I need to figure things out. I guess I'm holding on. Yeah, I would like to buy a new vehicle. Maybe look at my weapons, too, before we head out over there. It sounds like a big deal. There could be a lot of fighting. I did go on a shopping spree. Check out my new bike. I love it because I could see myself in third person. I'll show you my weapons in just a moment. But here we are. We've made it. Oh! Oh my god. Yeah, sure. Not a problem. <laughs> I can't help it. I like to go fast. All right. Now, before I talk to her... Let me show you what I've bought. And it's also why I'm broke. I've got 1,149 eddies left. So right over here, I've got two tech weapons. They're not my favorite in terms of their firing style, but I think they're pretty darn good anyway. 
They're legendary in quality. I've got a rifle and I've got a bunch of mods for them too. Like over here, I've got one epic mod. Eliminates vertical recoil while aiming, which to me sounds pretty darn good. I still do have my club over here, my baseball bat. Now, let's go back. I want to show you my mantis blades. Much like my gorilla arms, I have more than one type. So over here, we've got thermal damage. I've got chemical damage. And finally, physical damage. Right now, I'm going to use thermal damage. Now we can go talk to Judy. How's it going, Judy? Good thing you're here. We going in? Find us a way inside. I'll hang back, scan the subnet. See if there's any blueprints of the complex lying around. Join you as soon as I find something. Let's link on Hollow till then. It's not gonna be pretty in there. So? If you mean to tell me to hang back altogether, don't bother. All right, going in. Let's go inside now. I could just jump over there, but here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go through the front gate. I'm pretty strong. If it's locked, I can probably open it. Oh yeah, look at that. Done. All right, there's one camera. Let's turn it off. Done. All right, let's get inside now. Nope, you can't see me. Inside. Oh, they're chatting. Almost. What do you mean, almost? Grab a crate and get your ass moving. It's my break. Chill. All right, enough slacking around. Get that shit off the street. If you're in such a hurry, you do it. Looks like no one's taught you your place yet. I've been shopping Chrome for five years, and I'm telling you, we don't do breaks. Well, I've been here four days, doing nothing but moving crates, and I fucking quit. I like to let goons talk because it provides a backstory to people I'm about to kill. It gives you a little bit more meaning to what you're doing. Now, let me tell you something. I used to work in the corporate world, and I don't like quitters. I love your hair, but I don't like what you just did. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put you out of your misery. There. She's done now. You'll never have to lift another crate again, I think. All right, so I could just begin shooting, but I don't know how many are truly here. There could be more. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get up and jump up over here. We're going to have a good look around. There we go. Yeah, I've got a nice implant that allows me to jump in midair. Oh, that's what I was worried about. People who are able to hack. See, if I was beginning to fight, getting to him would be a pain and he would be able to damage me a lot. All right, let's go grab him, then we'll kill him. What a screen, man, it's huge. I wanna take that home, man. And he's out. All right, that was only step one. I'll grab that now. There's really not too much in here. Let's have another look again. Now I wonder, how am I gonna take care of you? I can overload it. Ooh, let's try that out. It didn't kill him. Damn, I was hoping it would. All right, so we've got quite a few people around me. I could definitely kill them quietly if I wanted to, like her. She's right here. Hi. Man, you've been working for a long time. But your career is now over. Man, she was really in the dumps. So we've got two more guards out here. It's really my tradition to go in quietly. Then later, I go in loud. It's fun for me. I can jump up here. Oh. Nope, you didn't see me, did you? Crap, crap. Gotta go down. Cool. Cool. So we've got two more guards to kill. Then we're all done. We'll be gravy. What are you fixing? <laughs> Look at that car. You're not a smart man. I'll kill you too. No one that dumb should be alive. I've done the world a few favors. What's over here? I'll take it. Rare item components? All mine now. They are fairly well armed. All right. So we've got two, not one, but two. Probably just go in through here or just jump up. Yeah. Let's check it out. I'll kill them later. Call. Interesting. Don't answer. 
Probably a bad thing if you answer. Be there in a sec. Try to find a way to the lower levels. The lower levels, huh? Oh, let's back up. Okay. Now, what's inside? Break chain? I'll do that, sure. Whoa. What? That went flying. Pretty decent distraction. I'm going to open that up too and go inside. I know eventually I'm going to piss them off then we'll need to go in just shooting everyone, but... Let's see, entering a new area. Yeah, I got you. All right, I'm going to mark you and you too. Just need to get an eyeball on everyone around me. Now, I wonder if I can go in through here. I can, because again, I'm very strong. Hitting the gym is a good call. It's always a good call. Okay, there's one grenade. <laughs> They're all bickering. All right, so now we're going down. You see my position? Yep, be there in a sec. Wait for me. Wait, how the fuck are you gonna get here? Evidently, Judy's a ninja. Not a bad thing. All right, let's wait for her. Yeah, I feel like I should kill them all, but I'm in a good mood. I'll let a few live. All right, now I'm inside. Let's see what's over here. Ah, more healing items. Gotcha. And over here, we've got what? Just a little gate. Just a little one. I don't see anyone down here. Wait. There we go. I can hear them now. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Hold on. I've got that slowdown. I might actually take it off, though. Yeah, I think I might do that in just a moment. Smells like problem fire. I need. We need to get to level RPM minus here. two. Bet that's where they're keeping RPM. It. Used to sprinkle it on my breakfast. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. Well, that was a fun fact about Johnny here. S. Keefe. Okay. Evidently, they've got a lot of drugs. A vinyl record, too. I'll take that. Sure. Let's scan it. There's only two guards over here. I'm going to turn to the right. This RTL, it won't make anyone foam at the mouth, will it? Because if it does, we'll be out of biz. Do you have any clue what we're baking here? Propylmethylene makes you trip so hard, even an animal would shit himself. Do you really think a little synth sugar is going to hurt? I don't understand why they take it. Nobody buys it because they like it. Except for the schizos. So, who buys it? The fucking corpse. Who else? Alright, pal. To help out the community, I'm gonna kill you. So he's gone. Scan that. Done. Now, she's not looking over here, is she? No, she's not. Sorry, lady. But, you've got an early retirement. Got her. Let's keep on moving then. We're not done. I'm not going to loot every little thing. I've got to think about pacing. I've got a job to do. If Evelyn dies and I tell Judy, hey, it's because I wanted to pick up some scrap, <laughs> probably wouldn't go over well. How do you know? I've seen his butt. I know. He's the boss, isn't he? So he should live like one. He's the boss because he can get any pussy to work for dirt. Pussies like you. It used to be that pussies were just pussies. Now we're the ones with our dicks in our hands. Hey, what if we stopped losing and started winning for once, huh? Go on. You and me load the crates into my old Peter and take the high road. That piece of junk? We wouldn't get past the first intersection before they dragged us out and splattered our brains on the pavement. And the other genius ideas? <laughs> Alright. I want to distract someone over here. I don't want to blow things up. Let's have a look around. Let's see. Break chain. We'll try that one. Huh. They didn't give a fuck at all. I guess if you're in that line of work, you're like, hey, what do I care if things go crazy? Yeah, come on. Move. Get over there. All right. Now, can I overload it? Not right now, but I can kill him at the very least. Sorry, pal. Let your dreams be dreams. 
And here's another one. He's still looking that way. Good. I got them all. Look at us now. Still standing. I know, Judy. It's crazy, isn't it? But I'm doing an okay job. Anyway, let's go inside. I usually don't do things quietly, which is why I'm doing them quietly right now. I like to change it up whenever I can. All right, so we've got to have more to deal with. What's in here anyway? Is that a turret? No. Okay, good. You've seen this already? Are you joking? Too young to go insane. I'll take that too. Those two were chatting briefly. I wanted to hear what they had to say, but it doesn't matter too much. All right. Let's see now. What can I do to all of you? Don't need to wipe your memory. You're not in combat. Oh, shit. Let's tag him too. There. Okay. That is crazy. How does she do it? I have no idea. If they have memories, I've never seen anything cleaner in my life. House of mirrors, I'm telling you. Alright, she's dead. Let's get the other guy now. He's still moving down. Holy crap. I'm about to level up. Hey Johnny. Give me a second. All dead now. How about that? My street cred has gone up too. Alright, so what do I need to do over here? I just need to move away. I need to move down. As I have been doing. Now we'll have plenty of time for loud action sequences. Here's another room. I think that's a maintenance room. Let's see what I can stir up. Okay, have fun, Judy. I'm gonna kill one more person quietly. Then I'm going in loud. I've behaved myself. Later, pal. Alright, let's have a look around here. A dead body. What a shame. I'll take that. Gutted out all our implants. And why stop there? Took a few internal organs while they were at it. How so very resourceful. Yeah, tell me about it. We've seen it before, too. Scavs. No matter how many you stamp out, there'll always be more crawling around somewhere. Figure you've made their acquaintance. Afraid so. Yeah, that I have. Now, can I open that door? I don't have the technical ability. All right. Oh, check that out. I can see them from here. So we've got three guards inside. Hold on. Let me take one more bit of loot. There we go. Now we're in. I hate this place. What's there to hate? That nobody checks on us and every day is chill. That we don't have to stand outside all day in the rain? That sucks so much, man. <laughs> no. I hate that everyone here is dumber than bricks. Hey, the door is open. Walk out. No one will stop you. Or I could just crack your skull. Shut you up. Who put sand in your ass? No one. I just hate it. It always smells like piss on a rotting corpse. Take a walk to the docks. Your brain needs air. I hate the docks too. The whole city is one giant rot pile. What a grumpy guy. All right. Now, why don't we kill someone for fun? Later, pal. Oh, that blew up, but it didn't actually kill him. That's a shame. But that did. It only took one shot. Stupid motherfucker. Uh oh. They know I'm here now. Oh shit. Hold on, I'm being hacked into. Yeah, it's him. All right. Let's go get him in just a moment. I'm going to patch up real quick. I was hoping he would be closer by, but fine. There you are. It was hard to see, but I could still kill. I've got my mantis blades out. Let's go fuck him up a little bit, huh? Oh, I'm jumping up. I'm jumping around. Can't jump up too high here, but look at the damage I'm dealing right now. Shotgun or not, it doesn't really matter. It's a bunch of chaos, but it's fun. 
All right, let's take him out too. Bum, 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 bum. You killed me once, you won't kill me again. All right, they were all cut to shreds. I mean, I put on a lot of armor for a reason so that I could charge in like that. We're mostly done over in this room. Let's keep on moving. Gun right. back out. Close to the studio, I think. You find anything useful? Read up the elevator. Should be easier to get out of here. Two more gone. Fuck around, do you? No, I really don't. Yeah, get in here. Alright, I'll take that too. Just a bit of money. Trust me, I need the money now. All right, so what do we have over here? I'll take that too. A conversation. And I leveled up. Sweet. Ooh, I can force it open. Perfect. Ashtray, not very handy. And over here, a power pistol. Again, not very handy. I've got a better gun anyway. Yeah, that should do it. All right, let's have a look. What am I going to put my points into? I do want 10 intelligence. I'll take that. Done. I could put some point over into my blades. I do like my mantis blades. Wow, 30% more damage, more attack speed, more armor. You know what? I'll take that. I've got to stay alive. I'm all leveled up now. Let's go. I know there's a few more guards left alive. Let's go take care of them. All right, I'm here. Yeah, good. Hang in there. I, only wanna talk. I bet you do, pal. Me too. I would love to chat. There's one more. Oh, you're not dead? Holy hell, you're a tough one. All right. Got him. Look at that. Fancy pants. I'll take them. And now we can leave. Let's go get Evelyn. So we can finally get out of this dump. Okay, one more room. No, we're good. Oh shit. That's Evelyn. Just don't touch her. If she's recording, you'll scramble her brain. Wait until I cut her link. Grab it and tell me when you're gonna yank it. I'll break the link at my end at the same time. All right, let's do this. Wait for my signal. Here goes. Ready? And now. Thank God. Ev? Evelyn, you hear me? What's wrong with her? Honestly, I don't know. She's got to be seriously traumatized. Is she okay to be moved? No brain hemorrhages, damage to the spine? Doesn't seem to have any wounds. Guess we got no choice. Let's get her somewhere safe. Fast, too. Which way? I sealed the doors and managed to power the elevators. Elevators it is, then. Yep, I got her. Then I'm glad I killed those guards, too. Alright, let's get a move on. Just need to leave. Yeah, they were right over here. Come on, is it really that hard? Please, just one. For me? Fine, have it your way. Smoke to your lungs content. Ah, oh, finally. Something better than exhaust in the stench of the city. Don't tell me you don't feel it, too. We going in? What's there to wait for? Didn't go through hell and back just to stand in front of a door. Yeah, no kidding. Job complete now. Hope she's okay. She's sleeping. Uh, at least I think she is. Her eyes are closed and she's not shaking anymore. I would have already killed her by now if I didn't feel so bad for her. I need to talk to her. Listen, I know you've got some serious questions that she's got the answers to. I mean, if I were you, I'd want to know, too. 
But it's just not gonna happen. She's completely out of it. You've got to be fucking kidding me. How's she feeling? Use your imagination. That place sucked every last drop of humanity from her. It's not enough. She already gave up everything she had. I just kept taking more and more. She's in some kind of trance, like she's folded into herself. No reaction to her surroundings whatsoever. I really, really didn't want to poke around in her head. I did it for you. I just want you to know that. You're mad at her? Why? When you asked me to scour her behavioral chip, I was just about done dealing with your shit. Judy, I didn't have any I know. Other... It's okay. So I don't get why... You'll find out in a sec. I'll show you the virtue I found. Guessing you saw them already. Yeah. Had to wrestle to make sense of the whole thing. But I don't want to say anything and taint your perspective. You should go in with fresh eyes. How many BDs did you manage to rip? Two. Only one of them's intact. Understandable, though. The rest... Well, they're in the same shape as Evelyn right now. Okay. Show me. Give me a sec while I set the parameters. Guess we'll find out if our doll really did lose her tune. Come on, V. Yeah, I'm here. I'll be the first to admit, this does not look good. Hey. How you feeling? You need anything? I'm not here to nag. Just talk. I know it's a bad time, but I gotta ask. You got any idea how to remove the biochip? Or know anyone else who might? Listen, Evelyn. I really need your help. It's important. If I don't do anything, and do it soon, I'll die. You're right. This is a complete waste of time. Well now, look at you. Oh boy. I'll take that. Go into the next room now. Have a seat. Yeah. You know what? I think we're going to pop right on in. <laughs> no point in waiting. All right. Roll it. Data was in pretty rough shape. Not all that editable. Huh. Glad you managed to salvage them in the first place. Needs a second to load. Quality's lousy. But I did what I could. What am I looking out for? Every single piece of tech I see? Security? Take a look around if you want. Easy, okay. Yeah, let's go back real quick. Hmm. I think I recognize these. Vive markings. You familiar with them? Not enough to know what they actually mean. Heard of who might use them, though. Who? Could be the Voodoo Boys, but that's just a hunch. Can't be 100% sure. The spine chilling Netrunner crew? Hard to find because they don't want to be. I wouldn't know where to start. Yeah, no kidding. Can't see your face. <sighs> Under normal circumstances, that kind of encryption's easy to crack. But not this time. Whoever she is, she's got serious net running skills. What am I looking out for? That or Every someone's working at piece of tech I see? Security? We need a layout of the whole room. We will get everything else we need from the virtue. What about his messages? Only if you can do it and be parfait, Bori. It's most important that he suspect nothing. Try to be your usual relaxed self. And if he starts talking about the biochip himself? Hold on. Here we go. More clues again. No, not her. Might not be important. Maybe. 
All of them are from Pacifica. And now if you down start our talking about the biochip what now? himself, will you hear this? Should I? Looks like I'm that going on a field trip to, to Pacifica. You spin the virtue, you come back here. We give you the eddies. That is your one job. We're done then. All right, think we got everything. Man, what a plot, huh? What do you think? The woman who hired Evelyn. Any idea who we're up against? Your guess is as good as mine. Sorry, V. Now we know what happened to Clouds. They're the ones who tried to flatline her. Launched a nuke at her ship. So it was punishment? For getting played by her? She knew more than they thought she knew. Couldn't let that go. So that's who she was running from. It looks like Evelyn never told us the whole truth. You're telling me. If I'd known what she'd gotten herself into. Ugh, I'm so mad at her. Her only job was to record a virtue. It's pretty damn amazing she managed to organize a full-blown heist. And swipe the biochip from under her boss's noses. So that's where you came in. She hired you, and brought this all on herself, on you two. There's one more recording. Wanna see it? Sure, why not? Nothing can surprise me at this point. And we're in. We are 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 in. Okay. What language is she speaking? I don't know. Haitian Creole? It is the Voodoo Boys. Didn't I? Wait, let me see if I've got an auto translator. Meantime, you try to tune into the phone's frequency. See what the other side's saying. Got it. Give it a second. Okay. We can start over, you know. Heard her mention Yorinobu. Probably why Evelyn buried this recording deep. Got another name. Something like Silverhand? We have to know what they're saying. It could be important. Fine. Just found the auto translate package. Should get along fine with your system. I'll install it now. And now I know. I know so much more. Let's go back out. Hold on now. Let's back up. Is there more for me to hear? Or is that really it? I'll move a little bit closer. Yeah. I was just wondering if there were more sounds around. Can't really hear at the moment. There we go. Okay, Judy, we're good. Let's get out. Disconnecting. What does this have to do with Johnny Silverhand? He died like forever ago. V, you got any idea? About that. The biochip we stole. It's uh it's got Silverhand's engram burned onto it. Engram? Digitized psyche. Personality construct. Can you give me a minute? I need to go over some stuff in my head. Uh, um, of course. <laughs> One Johnny, spill. Know who they are, who the woman is. Any idea how we find them? Fuck, V. I've been dead the last half century. Sorry if I'm unable to hand you all the answers on a chrome fucking platter when you snap your fingers. These people, what could they want from Alt? How the hell should I know? Got no notion whatsoever? One way or another, everything leads back to that net runner. Finding her is our biggest priority. If she knows as much as I think she knows about the chip, she can help us out. Thought you said nothing could help us. 
Nah, just find us that juju wirehead, okay? Yeah. If they mean Alt, do they mean Johnny's girlfriend, Alt Cunningham? Okay. Let's go. Wait, you got any idea how to get in touch with the Voodoo Boys? Why? Worried they'll give Evelyn up to him? No. I didn't trust you at first, but... Well, if you wanted to get back at Evelyn, you would have done it already. So why the worried look? I just... I want it all to work out for you. You got a plan? I'll ask around, make a few calls. Let me put it this way. The Voodoo Boys wouldn't trust a cat if it walked onto their turf. But someone's got to know a way in. Well, good luck. I hope you won't need it. Thanks, Judy. No, V. Thank you. You're a... You're a good person. Evelyn could never see what was under people's skin. If she could have gotten to know you a bit better, then... Who knows? Things might have turned out differently. Yeah, maybe. Alright, we'll call it here for now, my friends.